Well, here it is. This is an artifact of my childhood. One of the old school, real deal, real old California A&W root beers. In fact, you can even see the old bear. I'm not sure why they went with the bear logo, but uh, California is famous for having grizzly bears, for instance. The grizzly bear is our, our state animal. It's even on our state flag. This at one time, I'm sure, was an actual drive-in where the attendant would come out and then hang the tray on your car door and then serve you. They play golden oldie 1950s, early 1960s music here. And this chain is great. All right, so here it is. I actually already took a bite, but I'm gonna eat a little bit more of it and then I'll talk about the new bourbon burger. Uh, first of all, one big demerit to A&W. All their posters, all their collateral that's around the place only show a picture of the double bacon cheeseburger. And what they gave me was a single no bacon cheeseburger version of it. Now what it comes with is a barbecue sauce, deep fried um, onion things to make it crunch, cheese, and the rest. Now in the past I've been a big fan of the the, what they call the Papa Burgers. Those are great. The double Papa Burgers are also terrific, or they can be terrific. I love their homemade root beer and ice cream. There's a lot of noise around here because this place is popular. This is part of the experience. That and the fact that they're playing, uh, playing 1950s music outside. So here we go. Now it's time for the taste test. All right. <clears throat> So let's talk about the good and the bad. Um, you can definitely taste the sauce, but not strongly enough. You can definitely taste the cheese, so at least the, the sauce doesn't cancel out the cheese. Now in my estimation, if you have barbecue sauce, you don't need cheese. I don't know what these guys are thinking, but that's everywhere. Everywhere you go, they try and get that. Uh, the, seize, the cheese in a way kind of cancels out some of the barbecue sauce flavor. You can, the crunch and the extra onion taste even though i normally hate onions i do like these a lot they're very good they're kind of like putting uh onion rings on your hamburger in the way that carl's jr does and other people that are trying to copy the western burger although onion rings aren't necessarily particularly western i live in california which is as west as it can get um the burger overcooked not super great the bun not so great so sentimentality aside, it's okay, but I wouldn't order it again. And I feel kind of ripped off by the price for what I got. Will I eat the rest of the sandwich? Sure, because I paid for it. The, um, this is not as good as the 1970s version of A&W Burgers. So I am not giving a recommended buy. Okay, I'm ready to render a verdict. C. Eh, it's okay. It's overpriced. For value, C minus, uh, would not recommend. So that's too bad because otherwise I do like A and W. Next up, the review of the chili fries, which in the past have been the best of the pack. That's it. Stay godly.